Yo ninjas and Kayo, let's see 10 different top rocks for beginners. If you will need more help with your breaking, check out my Patreon link in the description. First step, front step. Some people used to call this step the Indian step, but for some other people the Indian step is this step here. For some other people this step here is the crossover Indian step. And the regular Indian step is this one here. It really depends where you go and who you ask to. The most common way to call this one here is the front step. For this video, let's call this step the front step and let's call this one the crossover so you don't get confused with the Indian step. I'm just gonna avoid this name. <laughs> so for the front step, the easier way to do it is just stepping to the front like this, coming back, stepping to the front and coming back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. To make it a little better, a little bit more dynamic, instead of stepping just to the front, step diagonally and cross the opposite leg. So if I start with the left leg, I go towards the right side, crossing the right leg, like this. And I'm facing with the foot the opposite direction. So with the left foot, I'm facing the left side, bam, I come back, and other side like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. As you can see, I'm bending my knees a little bit. You don't want to stay stiff like this and you don't want to maintain your weight always here in the middle. It will look very robotic and very ugly, but you want to bounce your knees a little bit. So bounce, 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 bounce. It's going to be a little better. And when you move forward, your weight is in the, in the middle, here, not backwards like this, and not too forward like this. Arms, the easier way to use them is just closing here and then opening, closing and opening, closing and opening. But you can try to open in different ways. You can open more like this, like this, like this, change the shape, the angles of your arms and focus also on the hands not only on the arms but how you are placing your hands there are many different forms you can use there is not like one strict way to do it try to play with it try to look at yourself in the mirror play with the angles of the arms maybe you can even bend them a little bit and you can do it kind of like this and stay a little bit more relaxed once you use your arms try to bounce a little bit your shoulders for all the top rocks don't stay too stiff here don't stay just like this with your shoulders but try to bounce if you bounce a little bit your head it will look even better so try to stay really loose with your knees with your shoulders and also with your head a little bit this will make the difference of how to do like a top rock like this very stiff or how to get more bouncy like this. To make the step even better, you can add a small jump in the middle. So when you are forward like this, you can jump, bounce your knees and go to the other side. Jump back and go to the other side. Second step, the salsa step. The basic of this one is just starting like this and moving to the side, coming back to the middle, moving to the other side, coming back to the middle and moving like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here again, I'm not just doing this very stiff, but I'm moving the weight of my body towards the side. So if I go towards the right side, I move the weight of my body towards the right. Both my hips, my torso, but also a little bit the left leg is moving like this towards the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can even turn the opposite foot. So if you move towards the right, the left one is turning and bending the knee a little bit in this direction. One and two, three and four, five, six, seven, eight. This will give a better effect to the step instead of just staying straight like this. It's just a little tip that I gave you to make the step better, but if you want, you can also do it normally like this and maybe still move your legs without really turning your foot. This is up to you. This is the basic, but let's add a kick. I'm gonna start kicking the right leg, kick it like this in the air forward. Then I lean it back on the floor and then I go towards the left side. So starting with the right, going towards the left. 
Then from here, lifting up the left and kicking it straight forward, leaning it and going towards the right. Kick the right, lean it and go towards the left. Kick the left, lean it and go towards the right. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. For the arms, you can use them just by running like this or you can close and open them like we did before. Let's start by closing and opening. When you kick, you want to close your arms towards your chest, then you lean the leg and then you open. You close again, you lean and you open. Pam, pam, pam. Pam, pam, pam. Pam, pam, pam. Also here, you can play a little bit with the angles of the arms. They don't have to be always straight like this. Second way to use the arms is by running like this. So, when you kick with the right, the left hand, so the opposite hand, is moving forward. Because when you run or when you walk, you don't walk with the same hand and the same leg like this, but you walk with the opposite, okay? Same thing here, so opposite, then when you lean, you change, and then when you go like this, you change again. So, change the arm, change the arm, and change the arm. Change the arm, change the arm, and change the arm. Change the arm, change the arm, and change the arm. One and two. Three and four. Five and six. Seven and eight. One and two. Three and four. Five and six. Seven and eight. About the salsa step, we're doing it on the side right now, going like this, but we can also do it forward or backwards. It's the same thing, instead of going here to the side, after kicking, we are going forward. Then we're gonna turn, lean, and go forward again. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. Same thing, going backwards. One and two, Three and four, five and six, seven and eight. Also here, like before, try to bounce the shoulders a little bit. Not too much like this, but just a little. And also bounce the head a little bit. Don't make it too robotic and too stiff like this, but move the weight, use your legs, your knees. Third one, the kick out or CC. I'm gonna start kicking the right leg forward. From here, I'm gonna change and jump to the other leg and then kick the left one backwards by doing a little hop. So I'm doing this, but at the same time, I'm doing a little hop with the opposite leg, like this. Again, slowly, one more time. Kick, change, and back. From here, you repeat the same movement on the other side. You kick the left leg straight forward, you change, and you go back. You kick the right leg straight forward, you change and you kick back. Kick the left leg straight forward, change and kick back. So kick, change, kick back. Kick, change, kick back. Kick, change, kick back. Let's add the arms. In this case, I like to use the arms just by running, kind of loose. But again, it's up to you how to use them. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. Always remember that the purpose of a tutorial is to give you a general understanding of how a move could be learned. But each move can be mastered in many different ways and there is no perfect tutorial for it. Each person has a different body shape, skills level, strength and flexibility. What could be useful for you could be totally useless for someone else and the other way around. What I try to do with my Patreon is to offer you a clear and customized plan to follow that works for you. If you only rely on tutorials, there's a high chance you're missing some points or doing some extra steps you don't need to do. If you want to have individual feedback, a specific training plan or exclusive content, check out my Patreon link in the description and choose the monthly plan that fits you best. Remember that you can always cancel or change plan. Let's do the crossover now. Kick and jump like this, lifting up the left leg. Kick the right one. When you jump on the right one, you don't jump forward like this, but you jump kicking it back. So kick forward, kick back. With the left one, you do a little bit of a circle like this, and then you jump on it in this way by lifting up the right again. Very slowly, kick, jump, turn, and jump again. Let's do it on the other side. Kick, bump. Let's do it on both sides. Kick, 
lean it back, turn and jump. From here, you lean back, you turn with this leg, with the left one, you kick forward and you repeat it on the other side. So after reaching this position, you jump back, you do a circle, you bend the right leg, you kick it forward, you change and you jump. Let's do it very slowly with the counts. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. You can use the arms in the same way as the previous step. Focus now on relaxing the shoulders and the arms and bounce them a little bit. Also, always remember when we are doing top rocks, bend the knees a little bit. Don't stay with your legs totally straight because it will make the movement stiff. If you bend your legs and you bounce your knees a little bit, everything will get a little bit looser. Next one, very easy. I call it back step. I don't know if it has another name because it's kind of like the opposite of the front step. If the front step is this one here, with this one we are doing the same but going back like this. So you're gonna start in the same position, just going back like this, crossing the legs, coming forward and crossing to the other side. Here in the middle we count one and when we go like this, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Remember to use your arms, look at yourself in the mirror and try to play with the shapes of your arms and look at all the details of your body, shoulders, chin, neck, knees, a little bit. A little variation of this last step. I'm gonna start with my right leg going towards the right side. So I kick my right leg towards the right, like this, in the air. From here, I jump on the right and I lift up the left leg off the floor and from here I cross like this. When I cross, I don't want to just cross like this, but I want to do a little hop and I bend a little bit my knees and I turn a little bit the foot that is forward. So from here, cross. You see what I'm doing with the foot that is forward and with this leg? I do this movement here. So again, slowly, one and two. From here, I repeat the same thing on the other side. From here, hop, change, and do another hop. And from here, hop again, and cross. Cross, and hit here. One, and two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight. Arms, always the same concept. You can just try to run a little bit, or you can try to close and open as you feel more comfortable. Next one, side to side kick. I'm gonna start towards my right side, lifting up the right knee. I do a little jump, I open my legs, turning my feet towards the right side a little bit. Not completely, so not totally straight in this side, but a little bit more in an angle. From here, jump on the other side with the left knee up and kick facing the other side. Pam, 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 pam. You can use this step very easily also to move forward or backwards in this way. You do a little step forward, then you jump going forward and you go forward again. And you do it to move in this way, backwards and forward. Another very easy one, the crisscross. You want to start doing a little hop and opening your legs and then from here hop and cross. From here just open again and cross to the other side, cross. Open, cross, open, cross, open, cross. To make it a little bit better, you can move the weight of your body on one side and then to the other side. I personally prefer to move the weight of my body towards the leg that is on the front. So for example, right now my right leg is on the front. When I open, I go towards the right side with the weight of my body. I go like this. Then I cross with the left leg on the front. When I will open again, I will move the weight towards my left, like this. So as you can see, I'm staying with most of my weight towards this leg 
and I'm gonna release a little bit of weight from this leg. If I want, I can even jump by lifting up this leg. Maybe it will make the step even more dynamic. Because if you just step like this, it looks kind of silly, it doesn't look good. But if you try to move the weight a little more, it looks better. When you cross, don't just cross your legs like this straight, but bend your feet a little bit on the side, like this. For the crisscross, the step is a little bit faster. You count it like this. And one, and two, and three and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. If you want, you can count it slower, but it, does, it doesn't look so good. So you can count it like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It really depends on how you feel, on the music, on the situation, it's up to you. Next one, very easy, side to side. I start facing the left side, but going with the right foot towards the right side. So from here, I open a little bit, especially the right leg towards the right side. And as you see, my feet are facing towards the left. From here, I jump back and I do it like this. It's a little bit more chill than the crisscross. In this one, you, you can stay a little bit smaller and just do like this. Let's try a variation of the front step, double jump front step, how I call it. You do two hops on the spot, one, two, and then you move forward. From here, you do two hops back, one, two, and you go to the other side. One, two, bam, one, two, bam, 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 bam. When you do the two hops, you can move a little bit to the side. You don't have to be in the same spot. If it takes too long to do this, if you hop too much like this, it's gonna be hard to be on the beat, especially if the music is fast. So make sure the bounces are really fast. Pam, pam, pam. Pam, pam, pam. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. And if you will need more help for your breaking, check out my Patreon link in the description. See you next time with a new tutorial. Yo, ninjas!